Hi guys. A couple of weeks ago I was interviewed by Paul Fontanelli from the Photography TV YouTube channel. He's a really, really good interviewer and has got lots of really cool stuff going on on his channel and he's sponsoring this video. Um, please go and check it out, go and see what he's got. Now during that interview he was talking to me about learning. We were discussing learning and we never stop learning and he asked me for an example of something that I'd learnt recently. So uh, I was telling him about a technique my buddy Simon Taplin showed me and that's actually what is in this video because we filmed him demonstrating that technique so I thought you guys would really enjoy it. So let's go have a look at what I learned recently but please hang on till the end because uh, Paul has got a couple of really cool giveaways for you from amongst my training courses. If you've followed very many of my videos you'll probably know that I'm not big on the whole professional secrets type of thing. Reason is most of them aren't secrets, they're common sense. As I keep on saying, photography happens outside the camera. Cameras don't take pictures, people take pictures. The camera captures the light onto the sensor, but it's your use of your environment and technique and the way you think your shots through. You've got to think like a photographer and that means using that environment. Now, a couple of years ago, I was over in Vietnam with my buddy Simon Taplin, who we run workshops in Asia, and we were doing a recce for the Vietnam workshop. One of the sponsors of that trip had asked us to do some shots for uh, various restaurants and hotels. One of the shots we were asked to take was of a cocktail. Uh, it's their sort of signature drink. So we arrive at this place, it's already dark, it's very, very hot, it's very humid. We've got two film crews, we've got a producer, there's Simon, myself and other people there. Everybody wants to eat and we've got to do this shot. And I'm looking at it thinking, what the hell are we going to do with that? Now, the only lighting for that shot was just a single bulb on a wall behind it, but Simon very cleverly came up with this. And I think it's quite genius, but what he did to do it is a technique that he calls nonsense. A bit of nonsense, he said. Don't worry about it, we'll stick a bit of nonsense in there. And it's all about using your environment and thinking a little bit outside the box. So I thought we'd come down to the ship in here and see if we can recreate a flavour of that shot for you. We haven't got exactly the same conditions, but I think you'll see what a brilliantly simple idea it is to add emphasis to a particular area within a shot. How's it going, Mr. Taplin? Well, I want to get this shot done quickly before my steak sandwich gets cold. <laughs> <laughs> We've added some food viewers just yeah. to sort of try and make it a bit more interesting. Yeah. So, although we can't recreate exactly the shot you did back in Vietnam, talk us through, what shot, what's the shot you want to well, do? Can you come and show us? Yeah, well, we're always working in challenging environments and we just have to work with what we have sometimes and really quickly. So, there's some little simple tricks that we can do just to work effectively and, and make the shot interesting. So what hmm. I'm looking at here is... I'm Let's looking, have a look. Show, show yeah. us what we're doing. I'm looking at trying to use um, a reflection on the table. Interesting. So I'm looking at this. I'm also looking at using what light is available to us at the moment. And we have the sky outside. So I'm going to backlight the glass. So I'm going to be looking for a low angle. Piece of glass, reflection, steak sandwich. And, a pair of glasses. Um, pair of glasses on the floor. And then just a, maybe a bit of a chair in, 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 in the background. So, you know, it's, a, it's an alfresco dining um, experience. Experience, yes. Alfresco dining experience, yeah. viewers. So okay, let's have a go. and so, so we're going to look through here, and then you are going to exclude some of this stuff around the edges using your nonsense technique. So, should we do one without and then one with? Yeah. And then that's people sure. can see what you're on about. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's, All right. Let's, let's do that. Okay, let's just do a straight short. So, short you're going to shoot back from here. Now, yeah. what sort of focal length are you going to be using? I want, this to, I want to lose the background, I want to isolate the drink, so I don't want any uh, uh, nonsense going <laughs> on in the You background. want nonsense round the yeah. picture, not going so, on in the picture. So, yeah, I just want to isolate the product, you know, for the glass from the background um, to keep yeah. it simple. So I'm going to be using a 200mm lens on here, and I'm going to be using a fairly wide aperture, let's yeah. say 5.6. Yeah. Um, if you've got a faster lens at hand, you know, you can go down to 1.2, 1.4, but those lenses are very expensive. But we can still get a okay. very good result. 5.6 for at about 200. So right right now, guys, Simon is using my uh, 2.8 lens, but we're going to shoot this at 5.6 because I want you to see that it is possible, you know, with a lens which doesn't have that kind of capability. Yeah. Um, and what I'm trying to do is I'm, I'm going to try and create depth within the picture. So I'm going to layer it. So essentially taking a two-dimensional picture and making it three-dimensional. So I'm going to add um, a bit of foreground um, uh, okay. to, to the picture to create that kind of depth feel. 
So, okay, I'm, I'm looking here, I'm looking at this glass. Let's, let's just do one straight standard shot, first of all. Okay, I'm not loving those knives and forks there. I'm just do you want me to move, move them? Yeah, if you could move them. Where do you want them? I think take them out of the shop. The, the, the knives are very jarry and it's not a bit... so nice. Yeah, and maybe we could just move uh, the, the chair into shot slightly. So that one? corner of a chair so we know it's seating our fresco if you could move it yeah that's it that way lovely a bit more. perfect like that a bit more oh actually can you move the, the other the, the, your left this hand side one, one. That, that's it perfect like that that's perfect yeah okay okay so here we go i'm working with the reflection here um actually that chair is just blocking slightly maybe we could just move it away all these are very very minute details very yeah minute and they make details. a difference this one yeah that one there which way um to your left that's that it. Way. okay that's it okay say when uh, yeah a bit more back in slightly more that's it fraction more fraction more fraction more fraction more fraction more fraction more uh, that's good there okay yeah we're good yeah and then i think we should bring the steak sandwich forward slightly so yeah if you could rotate we maybe take the chips. Sorry, sometimes we'll take the chips here. Chip there. Okay. Sorry, viewers, you, you've got Taplin's ass then. <laughs> 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 All right, serious. Okay. Come on, professionals. We know All what we're right. doing. Okay. About and, there. And can you move the chips to your right slightly? That's it. Keep going. Hang Keep on, going. hang on. Like uh, that? Just uh, if you could slide them on the platter. I can't because they'll fall off. Oh, okay. <laughs> the platter's not wide enough, so. Okay. So in that case, we'll take this forward here and that forward there. Separation. Okay. All these little bits of fiddly diddliness, it guys. Is fiddly. Okay. Now, I'm getting a low angle here, so I can get a bit of backlight from the sky. You're happy with the composition? Uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Okay. I'll get out of the way. Let's come back over here. Ah, try and, it's a bit of a wobbly bit of stuff. Okay, so I'm playing with the reflection here on the table. Yeah. So what, what reflection where? What are we talking about? So it actually it's reflecting off this table here. Oh, I see. So you're so getting a reflection using, from I'm that. I'm using this, this reflection from here. Yeah, onto the Got glass. you. We've got a glass top table here, yeah. which is and picking up a reflection because of the angle Simon's at, and it's reflecting back into the camera. Now, how about our... Well, Vietnamese uh, yeah. nonsense. Okay, so what we're going to do is introduce here's some glasses I prepared earlier. Yeah. And we're going to use them in the foreground, just ever so. Christina, why don't you come around and have a little look suffering. from this angle so guys can see kind of what we're doing? We've got Christina on camera, guys, and it's only about her second time of hand holding and moving with a camera, so cut us some slack. Okay. Right. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to shoot through these glasses. Okay, so now, you, you're framing your shot with either edge of these wine glasses, that's right. yeah? Yeah, yeah, and there's, you can add water to them. Obviously, the shape is a different refraction. Um, but what I, it's all about depth again. So we can move the glasses in and out. And it just, yeah, creates a bit of yeah, refraction yeah. in the yeah. foreground and, yeah. and creates a bit of depth and a bit of interest. And it just gives it a very, very subtle feel. So there's no science to it. It's all about playing around. It's all about moving. I'm still not quite happy with it. There's just a bit of a blue windmill in the background. And it's, it. giving, me, it's giving me a spot color. Got it, it's got it, got it. All, so we've got a blue windmill over here, guys. <laughs> These are things to watch out for. You've got to watch what's going on in your background as well. Don't just kind of look at the subject. It's the whole picture, the whole thing, overall, the entire area that you need to sort of keep an eye on. Okay, so I'm quite liking this now. Got a way I'm framing up, I'm just putting a bit of angle on it. So I've got a reflection in the table. We've got the, um, the cocktail, the drink framed up on the right hand side, just with a bit of softness and a bit of a steak sandwich and a few fries. Yeah. That's really simple, really subtle, and really nice. And when you kind of, you know, if you, if you viewers come around this way and just have a look from behind us, because then you can see that what we've just got the shot of. Keep going, Christina, you're all right, you're all right. I'll make sure you won't hit anything. There you go, back a bit, back a bit. There you go, look. Now you see from where you're looking there, you wouldn't necessarily expect that the shot Simon's just taken would look like this. And it's so simple. This is what I was saying earlier on about using your environment, about moving things around. 
He's in the zone now, viewers. The muses viewers. are upon him. The me. muses are upon him. We yeah. were wandering around Vietnam going, the muses are upon me, when we'd see something that we thought was interesting. If you know what muses are, have a Google. It's a creative thing about creative gins or something, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. And the other cool thing with these sorts of techniques is you haven't got to go anywhere special. You could do this in your back garden, you know? You can practice things like this pretty much anywhere. You haven't got to go to Vietnam or go to some other crazy exotic location to practice yeah. your photography or come up with some cool techniques and make some nice pictures. Now, I want you to come to Vietnam with us because one, it's a great crack. Uh, we photograph some pretty amazing things. So visit the website, please check it out. We've got a couple of workshops going on in Asia. But I really wanted to share this little tip with you. Sorry about the rather abrupt ending there, guys. Simon and I got a bit lost in what we were doing and took our eye off the ball that we were making a video, so I had to stop it somewhere. I said at the beginning that there was some giveaways for you on Paul Fontanelli's interview with me. He's got three of my ultimate beginners courses, which he is giving away as a prize in a little competition that he's running on that interview video. So please pop over, check out the great interview and all the good stuff that he's got on his channel. If you've enjoyed Simon's Nonsense Technique film, you'd like to subscribe to my videos, please click the subscribe link, uh, click in a few likes, leave us your comments, we always like to hear from you. And if you'd like to never miss a video, sign up to our newsletter on the website and we will send you an email whenever there's a new one goes live. So, see you over at Paul's channel. Take care.